Hey guys, this is Sky Jewel from Brewing's RV Center in Grand Rapids, Michigan. Today I'm going to show you the all new 2019 Holiday Rambler 35P. This is a four slide out unit and it's new for Holiday Rambler. Let's come on and take a look a minute. So we're in the master bedroom in the 35P and as you can see here, we got a full size, king size bed. Uh, that is a 70 by 80 inch bed. We've got windows on both sides of the bed and they do open, so, for, so uh, nice ventilation. We have 110 plugs on both sides and we also have two USB ports on each side, which is really nice. Also generator start right here, so you don't have to get out of bed to start the generator. Um, you've got a TV in here. It, this does have a satellite dish on it and if I kind of sneak and show you inside here, it's already got the receivers, so all you have to do is activate those receivers. And of course, you've got drawers all the way down this unit. Everything's on a ball bearing guided drawer. They're full extension, so real high-end drawers there. And then you have a, a huge wardrobe space inside here for hanging. And it is cedar lined, so. And then as we kind of move to the uh, bathroom area, you'll see uh, there's actually two entrances, one from the bedroom here and one from the hallway. You have a china porcelain toilet, which is really nice. Of course, you got your nice lab. You've got plenty of storage in here. It's huge. Uh, another nice thing here is your one-piece fiberglass shower. It does have a glass door. Uh, really, really nice. And then we've got a stackable washer and dryer. And that's a hard thing to find in a gas coach. Most of them are just a single unit, but having a stack is wonderful. You can do laundry twice as fast. All right, we'll keep heading to the front here. We've got a residential refrigerator that is standard on the Vacationer 35P. All right, and then you got a nice freezer, of course, down here. This is a residential refrigerator, so it runs off electric, and we have an inverter um, that'll run that. So, and, it, and the unit also does, a lot of people ask, have questions about how long batteries will last. This has four house batteries. Two are dedicated just to the refrigerator, so you can run it for days, so no problem there. Uh, convection microwave. You've got uh, nice solid surface counters, two bowls here, uh, residential faucets. Um, again, lots of drawers. Just a lot of storage in this in this uh, kitchen here. Really, really functional. So this unit's got two air conditioners on it, uh, a, a 15 on the front, 13.5 in the back. Uh, of course, the generator, you can run everything. This is a 50 amp service unit, so you can run everything at the same time, no problem. So you got the booth dinette here. So this will also fold down into a bed. And it's nice, they give you actual drawers for storage here, so you don't have to lift anything up and, and reach inside there. So that's really, really nice. Uh, you've got a tri-fold sofa here, and that makes out to about a king size bed, roughly. Uh, this this also here has a foot rest recliner um, so you can be nice and comfy while you're watching TV. Uh, we do have of course padded ceilings that's sound editing material. All of the lights in here are LED lights. Um, you've got power awning, LED lights out on the awning, um, fully automatic jack so just it basically is has everything almost that a diesel would have other than the diesel engine so. Okay guys, something that's really cool about this unit is this uh, Euro loft system here. And for extra sleeping, you can just put this down. And you've got your bed here. There is a ladder that is supplied and that goes right here. Kids or whoever uh, just can hop up and uh, sleep there. It's kind of a memory foam mattress, so it's very, very comfortable. And uh, you've also got a TV there if you wanna watch a little TV while you're laying there, so. Okay, now we're in the uh, driver's seat of the uh, Vacationer. And a few things I'll point out to you that uh, are kind of neat. Um, we'll turn the key on here, and a lot of motorhomes will just have one screen, so you have to uh, go through menus, get to your camera, get to your radio. A nice thing Holiday Rambler does is they put two screens in here. So you can have your radio here, and then you have your backup camera here. This does have side view cameras, so when I turn the turn signal on, it'll show me what's to the left of me, the right side, show me what to the right. So every, you'll see your blind spot. So I love having two screens so I can see two things at one time. Uh, does again have the automatic leveling system. So basically all you have to do is push that auto button. You can walk away from it and it'll, it'll level itself. It's wonderful. Um, you do have uh, power shades on the front. So the shades will come down. Uh, there's no manual uh, shade up there in the front. Um, and as you can see here, you have the day shade, and then you have a night shade up top there for a complete blackout. 
Um, something new also is they went back to using flex steel furniture, so flex steel seats here. They're extremely comfortable. Um, you know, it's very a very automotive uh, design. Everything's easy to touch. I can just sit here and touch everything. Um, USB port here. They're, they're they've really gotten into the USB ports. There's several. There's half a dozen in this unit here. Um, so real easy to drive. Um, real pleasure. So. Okay, guys. Now we're on the outside of the Vacationer 35P. And first of all, you'll see that uh, the unit itself has a really nice Sickens paint job. Um, clear coated, it's beautiful, nice and shiny. One thing I like is Holiday Rambler mounts the awning on the actual slide out so you get the full eight feet of um, awning that, that you can be underneath. They don't put it over the awning and the slider room takes up space, so that's really nice. Uh, you can see down, down below, you do have uh, some storage down here. Quite a bit of it actually, it goes across the whole unit. Uh, we do have a 10 gallon water heater in this unit which is right there. You got your outside entertainment center with the stereo. The satellite dish does have um, uh, a signal to this TV. So you can have this TV on one station, another TV on another station inside. So those are separate receivers. And again, um, lots of storage. Let's kind of open up a couple, couple more doors here. It's just all the way around the unit. It's really nice. We can open up the last one too. Except maybe it's locked. Yep, it's locked. We're not gonna open that one. Got a 5,000 pound tow rate here, and it's all set up to tow. It's got the seven way plug, um, all set to tow your car behind it. We do have a ladder on the back, and there's an extension for it that you can put on, and that way you can get up there. And uh, we have a lot of people we sell to that go to NASCAR races, things like that, and you can get a few guys up there, put chairs up there, and watch the race. Generator, 5,500 watt generator so again that'll run both air conditioners it'll run everything in the coach at once you don't have to worry about uh, any power issues there this is your convenience center so this is where you dump the tanks obviously real easy uh, gray and black water dump it's got a whole house water filter on it which is really nice and of course your black water tank flush is a must so you do have that on there too um, real easy for winterizing too. They already give you the hot and, or excuse me, the low point and uh, for the hot and the cold. So it'll back feed and just drain right out. And they also give you a plug for the antifreeze. So uh, winterizing one of these things, it takes me about 15 minutes to do. It's real easy. So, and again, like we talked about on the other side, just lots of storage all the way around this unit. This goes up and over to the other side. See if you have ladders, anything like that, anything long. Um, you could put something in there that was eight feet long and, and be just fine. So um, one other thing that I like to point out to people is uh, slide out toppers are standard. Another thing is um, frameless windows. They're gorgeous. Uh, they did that on diesels for a long time and now they're, they're putting it in on their gas models and it just gives it a really good clean look. Uh, we on, on the Vacationers, uh, on the 35P, you're going to have a 24,000 pound chassis, which is the heaviest duty chassis you can get on a uh, gas motor home. So you also have the 22 and a half inch wheels with 255 tires, basically just like a diesel. So, all right, folks. Well, I appreciate you guys watching my video on the Holiday Rambler 35P Vacationer. If you have any questions or concerns about this unit, hey, give me a call. My number is 616-965-9624, or you can email me at Scott at VerinxRV.com. Be happy to help you at all. Uh, we take trade-ins, we take anything on trade. Uh, love to hit during your business, thank you.